Welcome to Engineering Funda family. In this video is a part of Microcontroller 8051 video lecture series and in this video I will be going to explain you SFRs of Microcontroller 8051. SFRs means Spatial Function Resistors. Here with Microcontroller 8051 we have 21 SFRs. Each resistor is having size of 8 bits. In total 21 resistors are there which is having spatial functions. Spatial functions like timer, counter, I.O. operation as well as you can have power saving mode. Likewise, there are many spatial functions available for that we have resistors inside 8051. Here my dear students, there are a few basic things that you need to understand. Like here, when you write instructions at that time 8051 uses addressing of resistors. Let me give you an example. Like when you write set B along with when you write P 0.0 .0 then set B that is having opcode and P 0.0, .0 that is having address. Why? The reason is as if you have opcode for set B P 0.0, .0 then you will be having opcodes for other set B as well like set B P 0.1 set B, P0.2, likewise for 4 ports you can have set operation, likewise you will be having clear operation, likewise you will be having complement operation. So you will be having so many instructions, so so many opcodes that you need to have. So it is not the case which is happening with 8051. 8051 is having opcode for set B, then P0.0 .0, that is having address. So that you can have less number of opcodes and your instruction decode circuit that will be less complex because of opcode along with addressing is available. So what it does is it will increase functionality of microcontroller. It will provide you byte operation as well as bit operation as well as it will be reducing complexity in terms of instructions right so that you can have faster instruction decode operation inside circuit and your circuit will be simple. You see microcontroller on board is having many other blocks as well, right? So you cannot increase complexity of instruction decode. Otherwise that circuit will become big and in single chip you cannot have other functions. So to provide many other functions along with instruction decode, you will have address so that instructions get executed in parallel, right? So let me explain you all those things step by step. So here my dear students with 8051 microcontroller we have spatial function resistors with size of 8 bits. Here this spatial functions could be timer, counter, I.O. operation, serial communication, interrupt, power saving mode. Likewise there are many spatial functions that we have. Here in total 21 SFRs are available with 8051. Here microcontroller 8051 uses their address in instructions to reduce number of opcodes. If you have many opcodes then your circuit will become complex. So for reducing complexity here all the SFRs are used along with their addresses so that you will be having less number of opcodes to be decoded inside 8051. Here my dear students we have seen that internal RAM is having address range from 00 hex to 7 hex. Likewise, for SFRs, we have RAM address only and that addressing is happening from 80 hex to FF hex, right? So this address range 80 hex to FF hex that is there for spatial function resistors. Here this addressing supports bitewise operation as well as bitwise operation and that we do it to reduce number of opcodes in instructions. Like as if I give you an example, when you write set B P 0.0, .0 then set B that is having one opcode and P 0.0, .0 that is having address and in total you just have one opcode for set B. Otherwise what will happen? You have many other single bits for that you need to write set B and then that bit will be having many opcodes. So your circuit inside 8051 for instruction decode will become very complex. So what it does is it will be storing set B opcode along with address of P 0.0 that is 80 hex. And here my dear students 
8051 supports bitwise function as well as bytewise function. So if addressing is not done with SFRs, then you would be having many opcodes and that will make your circuit very complex in terms of instruction decode circuit. So that we don't want. That's why what we do is along with opcode, we provide address of bit as well as address of complete SFR. Let me explain you different SFRs over here with 8051. Like you will be having data and status with many resistors like resistor A, resistor B. We have already seen that accumulator that is a major resistor of 8051. All the arithmetic and logical tasks that is happening with respect to resistor A that is having byte address E0 hex. It is also having bit address that starts from E7 to E0 hex. So bit wise also you can operate with accumulator. Resistor B is also there that is specially used with multiplication and division instructions that is having byte address of F0 hex that is also having bit addressability which is there from F7 hex to F0 hex. Here program status word that is a flag resistor of this 8051 that is having byte address D0 hex and it is also bit addressable D7 hex to D0 hex. I don't tell you to remember this. The reason is when you write PSW, assembler will understand everything. Don't worry about this. But all I want to say is here, resistor A, B that we use it as accumulator and arithmetic operation and PSW that is flag resistor. Here, my dear students, when we talk about some other special function resistors like stack pointer, so that is not bit addressable. Remember this and we have DPTR that is bisected into DPL and DPH. DPL that is having lower address of external RAM memory and DPH that is having higher address of external RAM memory. Stack pointer that is pointing internal RAM address, right? And this DPTR in total of 16 bits is pointing RAM address of external RAM. Here, my dear students, we have total four ports. Those are IO ports, P0, P1, P2, P3. And all IO ports supports bit addressability. So single bit, SAD reset, like I have explained over here, SAD B, P.0.0 .0 that we can perform. Likewise, with all the ports, we can perform single bit operation as well as you can perform one byte operation. Here, then after we have serial communication resistors like ASCON and ASBUF that we will see it in next coming videos so that you can have basic understanding regarding how we can have serial communication. Here my dear students for timer and counter we have six special function resistors. Here TCON T mode that we use it to set up the timer or counter and Two timers are there, T0 and T1. For that, we have TL0, TL1 and TH0, TL1, right? So in total, we have four resistors, but you should know timer is having 16 bits of resistor. So that is bisected into two parts. That is how it is there. So here, this timer resistors that we use it for timer as well as counter, that even I'll explain you in future coming videos. After that, we have two resistors for interrupt control, IE and IP. IE used to enable the interrupt and IP is used to define the priority of interrupt and one more resistor that is PCON resistor that is to control power. Here my dear students 8051 supports two mode of power saving. One is idle mode and second is power saving mode. So that even I'll explain you in future coming videos. So in total 21 resistors are there. Right now you don't need to remember all these names. here. My agenda is to explain you that these resistors are used in instruction as per addresses, right? So when you assemble the program at the time, these addresses will appear. Here, that is been done because of we need to save number of opcodes. Otherwise, your instruction decode circuit that will become very complex. So that is how spatial function resistors are there in microcontroller 8051. I hope it is clear to you still. If any confusion is there, just post that in the comment box. I'll be happy to help you. Thank you so much for watching this video.